Hello, everyone. Welcome back. We are playing more Game of the Gods, God of War. And in our last episode, we defeated, finally, the second boss of the game. And next, the last boss of the game. Yeah, only three bosses in this game. The Giant Minotaur, or whatever they call him. And now we're just about ready to finish off the main area of Pandora's Temple. We're basically the main puzzle of Pandora's Temple. And get the hell out of here. So how do we do that? Well, remember that eyeball I was talking about? I mentioned it at, at the end of my last episode. Well, we have to align the eye with the center of Pandora's Temple. So that's what we're going to do now. And to do that, we got to basically turn the inside or the inner rings until this doorway matches with... Um, the very outer rings, or whatever, or aligns it with the eye, basically. But, anyways, guys, um, I had a little something on my mind that I figured I would talk, talk about today. And it's kind of sad, really. It's about everything that's going on in the world right now. Um, this actually, um, as I'm recording this, or as you're watching this, I actually recorded this last night, so it should still be a topic when you see this, when you're seeing this video, but basically, um, I've been, uh, following a lot of the news story of the, um, <clears throat> the major earthquake that hit, uh, you know, that major earthquake that hit, and also the tsunamis and all that, and it's just really sad that, t to hear, you know, <clears throat> when you have to turn on the news and, your friends talking about it and nothing but just travesty of all the thousands of people dying and the, uh, the tsunamis killing people and you know it's just oh man it, it really really gets to you sometimes and you know for everyone it's just I send out my prayers out there to to all the people affected you know in the, um, Japan and whatnot with all this and Hopefully, things will get better for them, and it's not easy. You know, I can't sit here and pretend I know what they're going through. I don't. All I can say is, you know, I, I hope they can rebuild their lives. For those that have lost family members or whatever, that are just, you know, they, God be with them. You know? Anyways, back to the game. We've aligned... Finally, finally solved the puzzle of Pandora's Temple as we have aligned the eye with the center eye or whatever. And it looks like uh, Pandora's Temple is crumbling before us. What's going on? I don't know what's going on. Calm down. Oh boy. What is there, a whole other temple? No. But it's just not that easy to get the the, the treasure of Pandora, you know, Pandora's box. It's just not that easy. Yeah, we finished Pandora's temple, but we finished the main area of Pandora's temple. Now we have to go to the freaking upper area. Lovely. But don't worry, the main temple and all that other crap is done. Thank the Lord. So where do we go? Well, we aligned it. That huge thing opened up, so let's see what opened up for us. Your progress is impressive, Kratos. But be warned. Once you ascend to the upper levels of the temple, you will not be able to return without Pandora's box. I don't plan on returning without Pandora's box, fool. Obviously, you don't know Kratos well enough. through the massive temple constructed to guard Pandora's box, he realized it was a monument not only to the gods of Olympus, but to the madness of the god who designed it. He'd conquered the lower floors of Pandora's temple, but what lay in wait above would test even the greatest of all.
Jeez, I could barely uh, hear the in-game audio commentary. I hope it comes out good when, uh, when the actual recording. The writing on the statue has changed and now reads, Closer to the gods, closer to your prize. Search every path to escape the cliffs. And here we are, friends. The upper levels of Pandora's Temple. No one has ever made it here. We are the first mortal ever to reach the upper levels of Pandora's Temple. Should be fun. And what awaits us? Well, in other games, I mean, um, now, I don't know exactly what these guys are called. They're one of two things, either the Satires, S-A-T-Y-R, or Anubises. Um, in Egyptians, Egyptians refer to, uh, it looks kind of like Anubis from the, I don't know if it's Egyptian mythology or whatever, but Egyptian creature called Anubis, that's what I recognize them as. And there's also Satires, but... I don't know what it is, but they look cool as hell. Um, a lot easier, obviously, because we're doing it on uh, easy mode, but um, just a lot of fun, pretty cool weapons they have. I wish I had that weapon, it's sick. And uh, we already got <laughs> one of them dead, so. What? You ain't got nothing on me. You ain't got nothing on me. Police. Paul Lees. And now we're gonna have a pretty sweet cutscene coming up. Here's where we're gonna learn even more about Kratos. Important cutscene. Pay pay very close attention. Kratos had been in service to the gods long enough to know the harpy had been sent as a warning, a reminder from his former master of the decision that had cost Kratos everything. Had it been that long since he'd almost met his end at the hands of the barbarians? That long since he'd traded everything to save himself? Ares! The sky split apart, and the god of war stepped through. Descending from Olympus, he saw the makings of a god in a mere mortal. Ares would save Kratos. He would turn him into the perfect warrior, his servant on Earth. Only a simple pledge of loyalty was required. My life is yours, Ares. From this day, I shall carry forth your will. And his fate was sealed. As promised, Ares rescued his new disciple, bringing forth the power of a god. Destroying those who would slaughter Kratos and his men. As for Kratos, no mere sword and shield would befit the newest servant of the god of war. The blades of chaos, forged in the foulest depths of Hades. Once attached, the chains remained so, chained and seared to the flesh, a part of the bearer's body, a permanent reminder of Kratos' pledge. In return, ultimate power. The rage of Ares exploded from within. But soon, he would learn the true cost of such power. A cost too high even for Kratos to pay. <laughs> Wretched beast! I know who it is you serve! Return to your master! Tell the god of war I am his no longer. Tell him he is not safe while I walk the earth. I will find Pandora's box. And I will use it to see him tremble and fall before me. <laughs> the most Kratos has talked so far the entire game. And, uh, hey, you know what? 
Now we know why uh, where uh, the Blades of Chaos came from. It's forged to Kratos' hand as a reminder of uh, him working as a servant to uh, Ares. So, yep, there you have it. Apparently he, uh, he owed Ares that favor and... Um, Hey, now he's stuck stuck with this crap forever, but there's actually more. There's more of a reason why he hates Ares, and we'll find out more as we go, but now you know a little more of where at least the Blades of Chaos came from, the fact that they're attached to Kratos permanently, and that he, um, he did it all just to win a war. Cliffs of madness lie before you. In my grieving, I fear I may have designed a maze with no true way out. If I am right, may the cruel, uncaring gods show you the way. Pathos Verdes the Third, once a loyal subject of the gods, now an annoying son of a biatch to Kratos. Yes. Magic. All right, we got quite a bit of orbs from um, huh, that hidden room. Can, is it enough to upgrade Army of Hades? Almost. Almost. Let's put some orbs in it. <clears throat> Alright, 718 more. Alright guys, this is actually a good time to stop. It's a little early. I mean, we're only at the 12 minute mark, but... Uh, we are at a save point, and we got a kind of a long sequence coming up, but... Uh, we're not too far. We're almost... I mean, a little bit of ways, a, f a few puzzles and stuff to go, but um, soon we will get our hands on Pandora's box and then shove it in the God of War's face. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're enjoying. We'll see you for our next episode of God of War Trilogy.